It's another slow start to the day for Judy Avey. For 30 years, she's run a sloth sanctuary in Costa Rica. Her team has rescued and studied more than a thousand of these animals, raising them by hand until they're healthy enough to be released back into the wild. She says she's seen all kinds of injuries, but one thing is clear. Sloths are more resilient than you think. We've never received a sloth that has been sick, that has a disease or has an illness. Um, we don't know if it's, it's because if they have this beneficial bacteria in their hair. We've received sloths that have been burned by power lines and their entire arm is just destroyed. I think maybe in the 30 years we've seen five animals that have come in with an infected injury. Two and three-toed sloths live in the canopies of Costa Rica's jungles. They're also the country's newest national symbol. Researcher Max Chavarria was intrigued by what Judy was seeing at the sanctuary and took fur samples to analyze in his lab. If you look at the fur of a sloth, you see movement, you see moths, you see different types of insects. You see that it is a place where we have a very broad habitat. And clearly, when there is coexistence of many types of organisms, there must also be a system that control them. Their theory was confirmed. Within the sloth's fur, they found what appear to be antibiotic-producing bacteria that fight off pathogens and infection. Why not think further that this molecule could also be used for us in other applications, for example, in medicine, in human health? Specifically, Chavarria and his team want to know if the sloth microbes could help against antibiotic-resistant superbugs, where standard treatments no longer work. They admit the answer to that question is still a long way off, but it's one that's becoming increasingly important. The World Health Organization estimates that by 2050, resistance to antibiotics could be the cause of 10 million deaths a year. And just like the accidental discovery of penicillin so many years ago, researchers here are hopeful Costa Rica's sloths could hold a solution of their own to a rising global health threat. Alexandra Byers, Al Jazeera.